James, it's great to be back here at Renishaw HQ in Gloucester. What are we going to see today? So before we talk about what we're going to see, um, I'd like to speak a little bit about what Renishaw do here. So um, we do metrology devices predominantly, or devices that help productivity of processes around manufacturing. But we're quite well known for our probing systems that go onto machine tools. And the technology I want to, or we want to talk about today is the Sprint technology, which is on-machine scanning for machine tools. Justin, you look after the marketing side for the Sprint product. Tell us a little bit what we're going to see today. So I'm going to explain a little bit more about the features that are included in the system, and a little bit about how we integrate uh, the system into the machine, and a little bit about the software that comes with the system, because that plays a real key integral part of what we offer and that's the thing that's really giving our users the advanced capability that they're able to make benefit of. James, tell me what Sprint technology is. So the Sprint technology is a high speed scanning system that allows a very high density of data output from the machine tool. Um, and what that is, it's a three dimensional scanning system. So we're able to understand three dimensionally the deflection of the stylus integrated into the machine tool. And what it allows people is extremely productive processes um, and we're learning more and more about new applications for this technology. So what type of people are really benefiting from this technology? Well I think there's a lot of people benefiting from this technology now. It stretches a across quite a broad range of different industries. We're, we're finding customers in the aerospace industry, uh, automotive, power and energy, and we're starting to get some new interest now even in the medical sector for this particular type of technology. We're even finding that the machine builders and OEMs are finding innovative ways to use the technology to solve very specific tasks on their machine tools. So why is it so beneficial to engineers, the technology within Sprint? So the benefits come from the, the capability that we offer in the system to basically help our customers improve the manufacturing processes. So we've got features like um, high-speed part setup, because obviously there's a high-speed capability of the scanning probe. Um, we can monitor uh, the effects of tool wear on the part in case uh, worn tools are marking the surface. Um, we've got a feature called machine health check, which complements our other calibration tools like Axiset and Ball Bar, which our customers might be familiar with. Uh, and this allows us to very quickly ascertain uh, the capability of the machine by checking the linear uh, and the rotary axes. Uh, and then we've got more advanced capability that can measure freeform surfaces, generating a CAD model of that surface or outputting specific points uh, on the surface. And that, that data can be used in a variety of ways, either to uh, support uh, entry into a third party package for analysis for a downstream pro process, uh, or we can actually take that data ourselves in some applications and generate a tool path, a cutter path ourselves uh, for applications like deburring or cutting, cutting chamfers. Wow, that's amazing, but how can it do all that? So we've collaborated with a number of machine tool builders to provide a very unique uh, and sophisticated integration into the machine. That integration allows us to extract machine positions at the same time as capturing the 3D probe deflection data. And that in turn allows us to calculate very precise tip centre data of the probe as it travels over the part. So we can generate an accurate surface of the part we can measure things like axles, like diameter and flatness and circularity, uh, and we can generate a CAD model of the surface. There's lots of wonderful things we can do um, through that integration. And that integration also allows us to collect accurate data at very high speed. And this is something that's very unique to Renishaw uh, at the moment. So why can't you use a touch trigger probe? Well, the answer to that is that you can. Um, touch trigger is still a really vital technology on machine tools. We've got an awful lot of users around the world um, using touch trigger probing or tactile probing on their machine tools. They're using it for setting up their jobs, verifying that features are correct and doing some in-process control to control um, the characteristics of the machine tool. But when you're starting to look at more complex features, where you're starting to require a bit more data to get from your um, you're from your system, scanning technology comes into its own because it's really, really high speed and it gathers a huge amount of data all at once and it's great for things like freeform surfaces or stuff that's not as uniform as we would normally be used to. You've mentioned automated possibilities, but how does it actually help engineers? Okay, so the Sprint technology is fully integrated into the machine tool. 
Um, and what that allows us to do is uh, process data and put it into uh, machine variables on the control. We can either put the data remote server, so for factory-wide um, uh, data solutions, um, and we can even export to third-party softwares for additional data analysis. But what we're trying to do is automate certain processes with the Sprint Probe and using that technology. So how is this possible? So that's done through the software that we offer with the system. So it's not just about having a very capable hardware system on the machine. The diversity of software that we offer allows us to bring all this wide capability that, that we're offering. So we can offer different programming methods to our customers. So customers familiar with GCO programming could just take the standard macros and measure lines and circles and arcs. Um, but for some of the more advanced features, then we have like a CAD CAM style system uh, that users can take a model, import a model with some geometry on the, on the part, and we can turn that geometry into a toolpath over, over a complex surface and, and, and scan data and, and collect it that way. That's great, but does it have any other unique features? Yes, it does, Mark. So it can do very discrete, independent operations like adaptive machining. Uh, often without the use of a third party, which can be very beneficial as a standalone solution. Uh, we can use it in operations like deburring uh, of large castings uh, or, or chamfering of parts, chamfering of pump housings, for example, uh, and even copy cutting uh, of mating parts. And, and we see that throughout the aerospace and the automotive industry, those types of parts needing those operations, which can traditionally be done manually uh, and can be very time consuming. So having to automate that through Sprint can be exceedingly beneficial. So these are great applications. How can you ensure you're going to have consistent, accurate results on a CNC machine in harsh environments? Yeah, that's a good point, Mark. So we invested a lot of time into, the, into developing the hardware, both the probe and the receiver, because they're in very hard, or can be in very harsh environments with, the, with all the oil and the coolant uh, and the swarf that is there. So both the probe and the receiver are, are rated to IPX8 so mating very suitable to, to that sort of uh, environment. Uh, and, and one key point actually is that you can, or well actually we suggest using the scanning probe uh, with coolant on the machine. So that helps for, for a number of reasons. And finally, James, what are the main benefits to engineers to invest in Sprint? So the reason that 3D scanning offers significant best benefits for the customers is ultimately we're trying to reduce the time spent probing on the machine increase the productivity of the processes that we've got and reduce those scrap levels that customers might have previously experienced. So now really is the right time to consider scanning on your machine tool. For those engineering companies that may want to look at embracing the Sprint technology, what's the best way to see it in action? I think the best thing to do is get in touch really. So um, people can go to our website, um, you can see some more information on Sprint on there there's uh, the ability to contact us through that. But actually, um, there's an article that I've written that's in the MTD January issue, 2022, um, that has got a lot of um, information in there on the Sprint technology and the benefits around it.